Hi everyone, it's Ken Webb with Fontaine Trailers. We're here today to talk about one of the newest products in our vocational line of trailers, the Fontaine Infinity Forklift Trailer. Most of the trailers you'll see in the forklift market today are all steel trailers with wood floors. What makes this trailer different is it is a combo trailer. We have an aluminum floor with four wood nail strips. It's gonna be a lighter trailer. There's not gonna be any corrosion or anything along that line. But what really makes this trailer different than any other trailer in the marketplace today is the rear end of this trailer, the forklift part of this trailer in the back is not an aftermarket kit. It's not an add-on. They don't take a finished product, a finished trailer, and take the whole tail skirt and rear end apart and then remanufacture the rear end. This goes through our production line with parts that are engineered and manufactured for Fontaine to go down our production line, welded together, sandblasted, primed, painted, 100%. Again, not an aftermarket, not an afterthought. What we have here is all standard items. We have the forklift channels here for the forklifts to go all the way in underneath for mounting purposes. We've got a DOT approved bumper. We have the Princeton style saddles that mount and hook the forklift to the rear end of the trailer. And we also have the adjustable Princeton type wheel stops. In our product before, this wheel stop was flat. And what would happen if I had a Moffat style forklift that would come up on this wheel stop, it would ride straight up into the back end of the trailer on the underside of the trailer. This curved end holds that wheel in place and prevents it from running up into the cross members. It's also adjustable. It has five different adjustments here that are bolted in. Here's your seven way plug for lights to go to the rear end of the trailer. Some of the nice features is if you have to use the Moffat wheel stop here, you can move the bumper out of the way. If you're not gonna be using them off a trailer, let's say you're basically, you're just gonna be hauling some Princeton or Navigator style forklift. Remove this pin and pull the Moffat wheel stop out of the way. So we think that those are some pretty good features and pretty good add-ons. On the underneath side, we have an air ride suspension. The reason we went with an air ride suspension is again, conversation with the leading forklift manufacturers in the country. They recommend this air ride suspension as opposed to a spring. A spring ride suspension with the weight of that forklift on the rear of your trailer is gonna beat the forklift, it's gonna beat the trailer. This will provide a much smoother ride, not only for the driver, but for everything. And it'll, and it'll improve the longevity of ownership of your trailer. Our air ride suspension is in a fixed position. We do have it available in a slide, but in talking to different forklift manufacturers, they really don't recommend that you use a slide, even if you're only sliding at 18 to 24 inches forward. What happens when you slide the suspension forward is it creates a situation where with the, the weight of the forklift at the rear of the trailer, it's gonna pull down on the front end, the kingpin and the fifth wheel and fifth wheel plate on the tractor itself. It's just not recommended. One of the other things that we did, again, trying to use our 80-20 principle in business, is we went with a 45-foot trailer. And 45-foot is pretty much a, a great average. It doesn't matter if you have a heavy-duty forklift on it or a medium-duty, it works in almost every application. One of the best features of this trailer is our patented Razor Rail. The Razor Rail withstands impacts 12 times stronger than traditional industry standard uh, rub rails, which were stake pockets, straps, and a pipe spool. And if you don't believe me, watch this. You also have chain tie downs if you need those. But the great thing again on this razor rail is it's gonna withstand forklift pounding. Your trailer's gonna last a long time. We have our knee braces in underneath that are welded into the main beam up into the cross members to spread the load. We have a mid turn signal. You have 12 winches, 12 sliding winches, six per side. 
And up front, what we've done is we put our counterweights on the top of the floor. These are flush with the floor. There's about 1,200 pounds of counterweight up here. We came to that number again in conversation with the different forklift manufacturers throughout the country. That was kind of the recommended number that they would use. If you do need a little bit more, you can add a bulkhead like we've done on these two trailers over here and add another 300 pounds. If you get a chance, please contact one of our Fontaine dealers throughout the country or go to our website and you can find our dealers that way or go online and you can request a quote. Thanks again and have a great day. Thank you.